Welcome to a summary overview of the expectations for assessment task number one, the case study. Now, as the first assignment in the subject, the purpose of the case study is to give me an opportunity to give you feedback, both before the assignment submitted through the draft reviews and after the assignment submitted, so that we're looking at this as a learning opportunity. By answering the question that you're tasked to address, you will learn more about services marketing. You will also be preparing for the exam and preparing for the literature review because the subject is designed to have interwoven, interconnected parts. So the first task is that you will be addressing the question, news as service. And this is the first thing you need to be defining. What does news as service mean? For the purpose of your assignment, you get to set a lot of parameters. News as service is the first of the parameters. The question you are asked to address is, how do the principles and practices of services marketing apply to the creation and delivery of news media content? So in this, news media becomes one of the facets that you set. You define this parameter, you set out what you mean to using reference, using support, what you mean by the term news media content for the purpose of this essay. You're also going to be invited to define the parameter creation and delivery. Now, if you look at the marking criteria, you'll see that specific small amounts of points are set aside for these definitions. But it's not just about those direct points. Establishing a framework, establishing a set of parameters will make the assignment easier and a better fit to your written style. So your expectations are that you will make use of chapters one to eight of the textbook plus more than the textbook. Conveniently, when you look at the fact that you're asked to use theory and practice, and you're being asked to use citations, you happen to have one we prepared earlier. And that is, the citations are available on the website in terms of there are additional readings set for each chapter. The papers that are set for the literature review are fair game to be used in this assignment. You can use ideas and concepts from any of the literature review papers that fit your argument that you're trying to mount in this paper. So the second part of this task, the first part is to demonstrate to me that you can identify services marketing theory in the wild. And this is this notion that the, you can look at how something operates and see the marketing theory that underpins it. The second part is to be able to set the parameters, to manage the expectation. You are going to create a service product for me. You are going to deliver to me an assignment. There is no physical assignment, it will exist purely as a virtual product. And you are going to manage my expectations by defining news media and defining content creation delivery. You give those parameters, you set up, you can then narrow what you're talking about. If you want to talk about radio news as service, if you want to talk about the ABC online as service, current affairs as service, newspapers as service, and you say, in the context of news media, news media is defined as, and you give me a definition, that sets my expectations. So I know that you will only talk about news media in the context of what you have defined and I will only expect content around those definitions. So you can narrow the parameters and make life easier for yourself. In terms of the house rules, always, always check Wattle for the final submission dates. 
confirm dates against Wattle every time. There will be some late penalties because we need you to be processing this information, getting it on board, writing it, and then moving on to the next task. Word length is always uh, a plus minus 10% house rule, as uh, the standard rules. If you find yourself dramatically under the word count, you haven't gone to enough research, you haven't brought in enough support. If you find yourself going dramatically over the word count, you haven't focused your paper. You haven't got a clarity to it. So if you're over length, you need to clarify. If you're under length, you need to go re-engage the question to make certain you're answering the whole of it. Terms and conditions, these are the, you must address the question. You get to define what news media is. You get to define what creation and distribution is. Take the opportunities, not just because it's 20% of the grade, because this is how you get control of the assignment. As it stands at the moment, it's a very open-ended amorphous target. This lets you slice down and get a very clear to find, my assignment will be about this scope. And it's one of the tasks that we are assessing in the assignment is how well you scope the parameters and deliver within those parameters. As always, citation is absolutely reference, absolutely mandatory. Referencing has to be there. The point of this essay is for you to be able to view a case scenario of news media and recognize the services marketing principles that are in application in this environment. If you're not citing, you're not using evidence, you're not drawing on theory, you're not doing it right, and you're not doing it the most efficient or the most effective way possible. I ask you to build on the frameworks of others, like to lift your own paper up by standing on the shoulders of giants approach also means that you don't have to create things from scratch. You can adapt an existing idea more easily than create a novel idea out of nowhere. So this is this referencing is there to get you to read the works of others. The citations let you acknowledge their work as it influences you, where it influences you. So in-text, in-line citation is required. Don't wait to the end of the paragraph to throw in a few bracketed author names and years to say, oh, somewhere in here stuff was cited. When it happens, acknowledge it. Acknowledge your influences. Recognize when the work is yours and when the work is the work of others. As for citations and format referencing, any style of referencing is fair game. Anything goes on that front, but indirect quotes only. You have a very small word limit. You have a very narrow window to operate in. So you want to give yourself the most opportunity to score points. And as your references are a matter of recognizing the influence of others on your own interpretations of their work, you don't need direct quotes. This is the first time this question has been asked. So there are no exemplars, there are no perfect answers, there are no lines of text in existence that exactly answer this question. So there are no direct, quote, no direct quotes that are useful. Finally, as always, if you've got any questions on the assessment task, contact me, ask me questions, talk to me. It's better to ask me a question before the assignment is due than to have an assumption disproved when the marks come back. As always, your advice guide is look, look at the due date, see how long you've got up left, schedule getting the job done. Also, retain your notes. Hang on to your notes from this essay because the material that you read in preparation can help you prepare for the final exam. So this is a two for one special offer here. Preparation of this essay is revision and studying for the end of semester exam. So we're going to get you prepared for that final showdown. We're going to get you prepared early. We're going to get you preparing often. So keep your notes. 
ensure that you get the job done and you do the readings.